I want to welcome you to the Ask Jeff YouTube channel, and today is a special edition. You may notice that I look a little different, and there's a reason I want to address a very specific, timely subject matter today. I want to talk about the introductory prayer to the 117th Congress that met in Washington, D.C. yesterday. What you're about to see is a clip of a representative from the fine state of Missouri offering up his prayer to start the 117th Congress. Watch this. Now may the God who created the world and everything in it bless us and keep us. May the Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious unto us. May the Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon us and give us peace. Peace in our families, peace across this land. And dare I ask, O oh Lord, peace even in this chamber, now and evermore. We ask it in the name of the monotheistic God, Brahma, and God known by many names, by many different faiths. Amen and a woman. Now let's talk about what we just saw and heard. Forget the fact that the prayer referenced multiple deities. Forget the fact that as a believer in Jesus Christ, it makes me somewhat uncomfortable uh, to hear our faith placed alongside other faiths that are not biblically accurate. Forget all that. Let's just talk about how the prayer ended. He concluded by saying, amen, and a woman. Now, I know that I have a background and multiple degrees in theology, but this isn't a theological issue. This is an ignorance issue. Allow me to address the word amen. It originates as a Semitic word. That's kind of a fancy word that most of us would know of a Hebrew origin. The word amen has not been translated into any language for thousands of years. In fact, when the majority of the world spoke Greek, they used the word amen. When the majority of the world spoke Latin, German, English, it doesn't matter. The word amen is a Hebrew word, which means it is finished, so be it, or if you want to use casual terms, I'm done. It has nothing to do with gender specifics. In fact, the word a woman doesn't exist in any language. It's a phrase to describe a specific gender, but it cannot and should never be used at the conclusion of a prayer or any other public statement as, quote, it is done, it is finished, so let it be. Those who would like to make this word a, quote, gender issue are completely ignorant, not just of faith, but of language. If you wanted to speak about the male gender in Hebrew and then transliterate it through the ages, the word is Adam or Adam for red clay, and it says the Lord made man. The word amen, even though it has the English word men in it, has nothing to do with gender, has nothing to do with the issues of cultural relevance. It is a word that humanity has used for 4,000 years. Christians use it, Jews use it, Muslims use it, atheists use it, secularists use it. It just means we're done. And for someone as a representative, not just of Congress, but humanity, to equate this word to the agenda of, quote, gender neutrality is not just a travesty to the Bible. It is a travesty to the language that we know as English or language in its history. So today, very special edition because I had to highlight the ignorance that we discover in our world today when it comes to taking whatever our personal agenda is and making sure that it is pushed forth not only at the demise of specific faiths and beliefs, but even to ignoring basic tenets of language, communication, grammar, syntax, etc. I had to come on air today to describe the travesty of what took place yesterday, that we are so interested in promoting our personal agendas. We are willing not just to rewrite history, but to rewrite the language of history when it doesn't even make sense. That being said, thank you so much 
for being a part of today's Ask Jeff special edition. Send your questions into askjeff.net and maybe your question will be tomorrow. Thanks for being a part of today's daily question. Now we answer a question each and every day. Please feel free to submit a new question at askjeff.net. We may not have gotten to yours today, but we eventually will continue to be a part of this. Subscribe so you don't miss out on a question every day. Thank you.